Specialized Turbo Livo Carbon. Ci sono state diverse novità per quanto riguarda motore e software. Sono qui con Dominique che è l'esperto di Specialized per quanto riguarda batteria, motore e software. So Dominique, can you explain us what changed mostly in terms of uh, engine, battery, software, stuff like this? Sure. So first of all, we're going to provide even more power to our riders to ride more trails in the upcoming year. So we are utilizing on the Levo FSR carbon as well as on the aluminum models, our new Turbo 1.3 motor. This motor is 15% stronger than today's Turbo 1.1 motor which is due to some exciting hardware updates we made in the inside of the motor, like utilizing new neodymium magnets, um, an all new electronic unit, really allowing us to gain so much more power out of that motor. But it's not only that the motor got more powerful, it also got more efficient. The benefit for the rider, um, by being more efficient, the motor really transforms more of the battery input into direct power rather than producing heat. So this also leads me to, to the next area of improvement we did on our new Turbo 1.3 motor, which is the heat management. Okay. Uh, development of that new motor, we were looking, really looking hardly into how we can also improve the overall thermal balance within the motor to achieve a better, an even better uh, heat management. So what we came up with were two solutions. On the one hand, we are installing small thermal pads in the inside of the motor that really transfer the heat across the whole engine and really thermal balance it out. And on top we are also installing a thermal pad that's what you can see here in between the motor and the BB casing. And what this allows us is that we actively remove heat from the motor and transfer it into the frame. So those were, those were the hardware updates we did, we did to the new motor. But we also just recently launched our new RX Trail Tune software version, which is also supporting those uh, efficiency and uh, thermal balance improvement I just talked about. The beauty about that new software is also that it allows for an even smoother uh, motor assist for your ride. One thing I'd like to add is, through our uh, software, this, this also allows us to really uh, provide a lot of the efficiency and thermal balance uh, updates to all of our existing riders out there today already since um, the software is retrofitable to all levels in the field. Another, another feature we're seeing getting a lot of attention without, within our mission control app is the whole tune sections. Riders want to tune their motor to their, perf to their personal rider's needs as well as their riding style. So we were looking hardly into how we can um, improve or even further provide the rider more uh, tuning opportunities. And what we came up with is the new Infinity Tune feature, Infinity Tune. What Infinity Tune allows is that the rider can ultimately not only adjust the assist level, but also the max motor current along with uh, the assist level for each mode independently. So this just opens up tons of uh, tuning opportunities, adjustment opportunities for the riders. It's more than ever in the hands of the rider to decide how you want to set up your engine, how you want to have your motor supporting you. Perfect. Thanks a lot for your explanation, Dominique. You're very welcome. You know, you know that in Italy we have a very strong community uh, who loves a lot the new the Turbo Levo in general. So I think your explanation will be very useful for uh, Thousand and thousand of readers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. And keep it up, Italy. It's really a pressure to, to see what's going on. You, you guys rock. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks to you, Dominique. Thanks to you.